Now, of course, this is just that VDB, you know, junky, chunked up version of this thing. This is not the original mesh with the original UVs and the original actual look. You know, now it's this like thicker, blobbier version. That was great for the sim. We'll use that as a target to deform our original high res too. But we can't use this. So let's go get the original stuff. So I'm going to say, back here with metal was the last time it was like still nice and good. You know, because after that we started messing with it. So I'm going to take a null off of here, call this render. Like this is the render uh, geometry. I'm going to copy it, go into our anim thing here. I also want this to be uh, brought in, and in the same way, there's a lot of ways to do this, honestly. Um, you can do it a little more elegantly than having two of these, but this is probably the fastest and easiest way to do it. So that's what we're going to do today. So I did it for both, anim 1 and anim 2. And now here, I'm going to bring them in in the same manner as before. Or maybe slightly different. I'll, I'll bring it in, but I'll use a wild card here because I'm wild and crazy. And there you go, input into this object. So now we're bringing them both like that. And we can use that. We can use a point to form. Where are you point to form? Point to form. I should also mention there is a RBD uh, deforming pieces which can be useful. Uh, it depends on what you're doing. And in our case, it's not going to be helpful, but consult your local library about RBD deform pieces and how it can be helpful when doing certain things. This is kind of the lower level. This is inside the RBD deform anyway. This is going to take our mesh to deform this. Then it's going to want a rest point lattice and a deform point lattice. That's going to be from this. But first, mesh to deform is this. Use a time shift to basically have it be pegged to the first frame here. I mean, it's just one. I could just type one in here, but uh. Oops, I meant to do paste relative references, so it's still one, but now it's one on every frame. Now, I need similarly the first frame of the sim. So again, make sure I move the timeline around, it's still just frame one. So that way we can make a correspondence between the high res geometry and the low res geometry. So it's building that correspondence, it's mapping the one to the other. And then finally, we do this, and that's the that is the actual moving ones. Now, if you were to look at it, you'd be like, "Nah, it's not looking too great." And it's literally doing it, but what the problem we're having here is we're still packed pieces here, so it, it only really knows about these as though they were just individual points, meaning like each of these packed geometries is really just one point. Uh, as far as this knows. So it's not nearly enough information. So we need to unpack those things. So unpack it. So it's back to just being actual full-blown polygons. And now it is nice. Look at that. So it already looks pretty good. It looks good um, because we have a lot of resolution in the front of the train where they're hitting each other, which is very convenient for us. But we do actually have some disturbance going on further back here, which we're not getting because we just don't have the resolution for it. There's no points to deform here. So we're kind of just getting this long slope from here to here. So we can add our own resolution to it. Oh, can't go to it because of the wild card. See, that's a reason to not use the wild card. Anyway, so let's just, uh, there's lots of ways to add resolution to things. Probably usually best to just do it by hand, depending on what your, your modeling department kind of capabilities are. But at um, any rate, I'm going to say, go into name selection mode, click that. I'm going to click the front of the train. That one's actually already good. So that's actually the one we don't want, but it's easier than selecting all the other ones. And it's this, it's the other side here that I'm more interested in. So I'm going to make a, oop. I'm going to put a divide. Eh. So, what? Oh. 
I'm gonna put divide sop down here. The divide, go away. Normally you think of the divide as the node that makes triangles, but we could turn all that off and turn on bricker polygons instead. Bricker polygons will actually just slice and dice it in every access, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna say, you know what, this is actually pretty good already, 0.5. We don't want to add so much resolution because ultimately we have to think about memory and texture size. You know, all of these, every single frame, on every single frame of our animation, we need to write the point position of every single point into a texture. So if we want all this to fit into like a 1024 by 1024 or a 2048 by 2048 or whatever, you know, we only have so many pixels in that. And again, every frame, every point gets one pixel. So be careful about how much resolution you add. So I'm basically going from 2,700 points to 9,400 points just by adding that much resolution. So just, you know, I mean, that should be fine, but just be careful. Don't go crazy. Uh, I added another divide after that to, you know, because I made a lot of new like four-sided, sometimes five-sided polygons. So just turn them back into regular old geometry that Unreal will appreciate. And that's pretty much it. Obviously a million ways you could have up that, but this is how we're gonna do it. So I just bring back the original train front there. And now we don't need to re-sim anything. The sim was here. The low-res thing was the sim. Now the high-res though, is here and now we have more resolution so now you can see it's not just this one straight flat deformation now we have some more points in here to capture some of that more you could concentrate more resolution there with the brickers um you could like maybe not apply it to the chairs and stuff on the inside that don't matter as much you could concentrate it here but uh i think you get the idea we have a higher resolution now you can capture the actual sim detail better that is literally it. That is literally, without exception, it for the metal.